Hi, this is How Claw Formation Works Introduction Tutorial Part 2, EC2 and Route 53. In this video, I'm going to continue the basic introduction to claw formation. Okay, here's the summary of what we're going to do. We're going to add a, a record set, a Route 53 record set, to the existing template. Remember, the template from last time was a claw formation, claw formation template <coughs> Excuse me, that spun up one EC2 instance. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, use that same existing template and add a Route 53 record to it and associate it with that EC2 instance. Uh, it's going to be required for us to add Route 53 parameters also to the existing template. And it is also going to be required for us to uh, create a parameters JSON file. Then we'll launch the Route 53 stack and then we'll delete it. So let's get right to it. This video is based on this blog post entitled A Simple Introduction to AWS Cloud Permission Part 2, EC2 Instance and Route 53. So, this blog article is very useful and I'm going to link it to it in the description below uh, because it contains all the commands for you to copy and paste over if you want to run these, exam these examples yourself. All right, uh, for us, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the terminal here. These are the files from last time. Okay, so I'm going to change up the structure a little bit, create a templates folder, move those files into a templates folder, CD into the templates folder, uh, and copy over single instance YML and call it instance and route 53 YML. Okay, so that gives us kind of the, a good starting structure for what we're gonna do. Okay, and open it up and scroll down to the resources. I'm gonna refresh your memory here. Uh, the resources in this template currently is an EC2 instance and an instance security group. So we wanna add a route 53 record here. So how do we do that? All right, let's Google for it. AWS Cloud Permission uh, Route 53 record set. It already completed there. And it usually takes you to the reference cloud formation documentation right away, right there. So this is giving on a silver platter exactly what we need to do in order to add the Route 53 record set to our current template. So at the very top here of this documentation, there's the syntax overview and gives you a uh, overview of the structure of um, of this record res of, of this resource. What I'd like to do is ignore this and skip all the way to the bottom. <laughs> so at the bottom, there is uh, or is actually a concrete example here. So I take that and I usually go in here, then literally copy and paste it in here. And then I look at this and then I uh, massage it to my needs. So for the sake of this uh, video tutorial, I'm just gonna go grab the finished copy here and paste it in to save uh, time. Right there. And so you're gonna pretend that I, I massage that to our needs here. Okay, so let's review this. DNS record, that's uh, what I've added. And inside this resource, there's a reference to hosted zone name and subdomain. So what's that? Those are the required parameters I was talking about earlier that we also need to add to this confirmation template. So let's go grab that. Uh, somewhere here, there we go. All right, what we need. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the top and add it right here. Okay, and save it. Right, and then I'm gonna go back down here and uh, go over this a little bit more in more detail. So this is the resource we just added. And notice here, the name is basically the value of the DNS record that we're gonna add. And is using what's called a CloudFormation intrinsic function join here to join the subdomain and the hosted uh, zone name. And then uh, it's gonna uh, use as its value, the EC2 Plubix instance. And the EC2 here, that refers to this logical ID right here. So that's how, it knows how to associate the EC2's public IP address to the uh, DNS record. And since we need a hosted a zone name here, we're just gonna go create that now. So we'll go here to services under Route 53 is under network. And we need to create example.local. Okay, oh, I've already created it here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and then kind of create it again just so you can see um, how it works, okay, how to create it. So I'm gonna create a private host name and call it example dot localhost or local. I'll just use the same thing for comment. Use my uh, VPC. I'm using the default VPC in the US West region right now. Go ahead and click, click create. And that should, there, we have it. We have it created now. So now at this point, we can successfully launch this stack. So let's go and grab the command uh, straight from the blog tutorial right here. Uh, okay, so in this actually, this is the long command here. And what I'm saying this in the tutorial is that command becomes a little bit long. So what I'm gonna do instead is create a params file. Uh, make directory parameters, uh, touch parameters, and call it instance and route53.json, and open that up in Sublime and paste this in. So you'll see the key pairs, tutorial, instance types, uh, that T2 micro, 
in the subdomain. Oh, it's this is the O value. So let me, I just need to update the post. Let's use example.local and a test subdomain. And the reason I'm using example.local instead of uh, your own, uh, 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 my own DNS record is because I own that one and also you don't have to pay for it because this is free. Okay, so at this point, we should be able to go ahead and launch the, 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 uh, EC, uh, the stack. So let's go down here and right here, we should be able to grab this and launch the stack right here. Okay, so bam, let's see what happens here. Okay, stack is being created. So let's go verify that the stack was created uh, by looking at the uh, AWS CloudFormation Console. There, create in progress. So we can click on that, highlight that. And when you highlight that line item, um, it's very useful to hit this tab here, events, so you can see what's going on. So while that's spinning up, it's gonna take some time, I'm gonna go back and actually review this code again with you guys. Okay, so color diff, mm, templates, single instance YML versus templates, and the new one is called instance and route 53 record. Let's see what that looks like. So this is just a, a, a nice uh, code diff of what we change. We added a host, zone name and a subdomain parameter. And we also added a resource, we titled it, we called it DNS record, and it's a record set, it's a Route 53 record set. So that so that is spinning up. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and see where the stack is, what the progress of the stack is. So it's still spinning up there, and it's gonna take a probably minute or so, and that should spin up. While that's spinning up, I'm also gonna open up uh, Route 53 in another tab here. So we can see that uh, cloud from, uh, the record being added eventually. And look, you actually just are being added. I can see a record set count of three. So I click on this. You'll see, oh, test domain example.local. Let's go here to cloud formation again and refresh here and it should uh, be completed. Oh, it hasn't reflected yet. So cloud formation is still registering that and that should be reflected soon. But as you can see that, oh, there we go. I just have to be patient. AWS has made me extremely impatient. That's what they've done to me. Um, the stack launched at 33.42 and it finished at uh, 35.12. So basically it took two and a half minutes, very fast. Okay, so that's uh, done. Let's go review. Oh, so that's basically, that's actually uh, another way to review this is to check out the um, DNS record here and verify that this public IP address matches the instances IP address, right? So let's go there to services, EC2. Uh, the running uh, instance, that CloudFormation just spun up right here. Yeah. And you can see the plug IP address is ending right here in 158. And the Route 53 record is also 158. So that matches, confirmed everything is working. Okay. Uh, so what we did was we did everything. The only thing we have done is delete the stack. So actually, let's go do that. Uh, let's go to CloudFormation and delete the stack. And then we are done. Action, delete stack. Done, so that's gonna delete itself. So let's review what we did. To recap, we added a Route 53 record set resource to the existing template. We also added parameters at the top there of the existing template. We created a parameters JSON file that it was required. Uh, and then we launched the stack, we reviewed, verified everything, and then we deleted the Route 53 stack, right? There are some references here. This is actually a part of a blog series, a tutorial series, and the links to uh, all the blog posts are here. Right. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoy content like this, be sure to like it to encourage more content like this. If you have any questions or you have any other video suggestions, feel free to comment below. And if you need any DevOps help, check out Bolt Ops. Thanks, guys.